governor uh, and and be uh, uh, running uh, campaigning with Trump at the same time. He, no. In any case, one thing is certain: Christie no longer has Jersey's interests in the forefront. It is abundantly clear that his self-serving goals guide all his actions. As mentioned during his absentee months, the decent thing would be for him to resign. But that will probably not happen. It's time for a recall. Huh? Recall election. Actually, I don't know how many, I think he's only got, what, a year or two left? Until he's out of there. Just watch it uh, at the... Uh, you know, you know, uh, I have a funny feeling Barbara Bono would, uh, would kick his ass in another election. If she, uh, if she chose to do it again, uh, because she, she really kicked his ass in the two debates she had with him. I, but she should not pick a female lieutenant governor. I'm sorry. It looks too lesbian. You know, no, a man don't it. like that. Men don't like that. The, the double team. Well, unless it's a menage a trois. But I'm saying, you know, politically, men don't like that. Well, they should have put uh, Cody up there, but I don't know. Maybe Cody didn't want to. What about McGreevy, or did he? Well, he McGreevy said it. He's in a he's a religious nut in a convent. I mean, in a uh, monkey. Uh, uh, what do you call monastery? A uh, minute, yeah. Monkey. Yeah, yeah. He's a he's a in one of those things. Also, maybe he lost his mind. Well, that's possible. How do you go from a politician and the uh, he was actually pretty good. I mean, he was a, he's a, Demo he's a Democrat. He uh, later on, uh, even though he had a wife, he claimed he was gay. I don't know if the wife knew that or, or <coughs> not. Uh, I was very confused at the, the McGreevy situation. And then he resigned. Yeah. He resigned. I mean, uh, uh, well, um, Cody was a hell of a lot better. Uh, you know, there's a possibility New Jerseyans would not want him impeached if, if they felt he was a good governor. I had no problem with him being there. I, I, I uh, he was. I thought he was much better than than uh, Christine Todd Whitless. Whitman. Uh, Whitman's a long time ago. Titless, yeah. You know, put New Jersey in the hole. And uh, what's his name? Um, um, Haven't got out since. Um, the the billion, the former Goldman Sachs kid. And a billionaire, uh, uh, believe it or not, He's Democrat governor that was in there before Cor Corzine. Mr. Corzine. Mr. Corzine, uh, how do you go from being, being a Goldman Sachs person and a billionaire to running as a Democrat? How does well, that happen? It shows you how corrupt our, uh, you know, process is, doesn't it? People just don't get it. Jeez. They just... She had Larry Summers, she had Robert Rubin, <laughs> and others from Wall Street over there in the Clinton administration. What the hell did you expect to come out of it? Yeah, but... Glass Steagall down the drain! Yeah, but uh, what do you think of Robert Reich? Robert Reich is fine, but Robert Reich ha had no power in the Clinton in administration. No, no, he didn't. No. Summers and Rubin and the others, they kept him down. I mean, he has a lot to say now, Robert yeah. Reich. And and you can be you can be in the administration of uh, of uh, you know a po politician or something like that, and they can keep you quiet. Yeah. Like, hey, Jimmy, make sure that you got no uh, influence whatsoever. Jimmy Carter. God bless him, at his age, he knows all about the oligarch. The corporate oligarch, the elitist oligarch. He knows he knows what's going on, what has happened to the United States. And, uh, you know, um, look, he wasn't the most successful president, but he's a hell of a nice guy, you know. Two Catholic bishops. Uh oh. Who led a small Pennsylvania diocese 
helped cover up the sexual abuse of hundreds of children by more than 50 priests and other religious leaders over a 40-year period. Not only that, some relative of the former Pope Benedict in Germany, or some some uh, 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 school for boys or something, <laughs> like, was very much involved in, in uh, gay pedophilia with these boys. There's, there's a pattern here, a huge pattern, probably the biggest pattern that was ever created mm -hmm. uh, is is the connection between uh, Catholic the Catholic clergy men and um, this pedophilia. According to a grand jury report that portrays the church as holding such sway over law enforcement that it helped select a police chief. The 147-page report issued on Tuesday on sexual abuse in the Altoona Johnstown Diocese, home to nearly 100,000 Roman Catholics, was based partly on evidence from a secret diocesan archive opened through a search warrant over the summer. That's like central Pennsylvania. Altoona. I think well, it's in the Allegheny. Johnstown. That's one. That was when they had the Johnstown is where they had that uh, that uh, flood. Oh, once upon a time. Oh, I was thinking of the Johnsonville Bratwurst or something. No, that's different. Johnstown is this book. In announcing the findings, Pennsylvania Attorney General Kathleen Kane said. The diocese's uh, two previous bishops placed their desire to avoid public scandal over the well-being of children. No criminal charges are being filed in the case because some abusers have died. The statute of limitations has expired or victims are too traumatized to testify. Of the victims, Cain said, their souls were killed as children. Listen. Roman Catholic Church. Stop with this unrealistic celibacy crap. Let these men date, fraternize, and get married. Enough is enough. The ministers do it. I mean, uh, Protestants or whatever, non a non-denominational, uh, you know, other 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 uh, uh, religious uh, organizations in uh, organized well, religion into, uh, uh, don't expect. That was put into that was put into effect by a, a pope back in, I think, it was six oh six. I bet that pope had a lot, got a lot of tail when he. Uh, well, he certainly had a lot of influence since the church carried it on after his death. Yeah, was that the pope that that um, gave Catholic? Uh, I don't remember who it was at the moment. Young Catholics, um, you know, children in, in Sunday school, the impression that everybody in the Bible was like uh, 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 also celibate. I, I, yeah. I was under the impression. And no one had sex. <laughs> the children weren't out playing baseball. They were trying to avoid priests. The report was especially critical of bishops James Hogan and Joseph Adamek. Hogan, who headed the diocese from 1966 to 86, died in 2005. Adamek, who succeeded him, retired in 2011. Adamek cited possible self-incrimination in refusing to testify before the grand jury. But in a court filing, his attorney said, the accusations against the 80-year-old Adamek are unfounded. 
he required 14 priests accused under his watch to undergo psychiatric evaluation, the filing said, and nine of them were suspended or removed from the ministry. One diocesan official under Hogan, Monsignor Philip Saylor, told the grand jury that church officials held such clout in the eight county diocese that police and civil authorities would often defer to the diocese when priests were accused of abuse. Should be, they should be arrested. A sailor told the grand jury that the mayors of Altoona and Johnstown even consulted him on their choices for police chief in the 1980s. Nice to have power. Yeah, yeah. and of course the Catholic Church does nothing when the, when the uh, secular law enforcement turns it over to them. They don't do anything about it. No. That's why it went on for 40 some years. <laughs> yeah. You have one of those... Um, yes, I do. You know what I mean by one of those? Okay. My fiance <laughs> and I have known each other since high school. Oh boy. I was the good kid with honors and the right parents. She was considered trouble. So sounds like a fun girl. And didn't have the best home life. Rumor had it that she moonlighted as a stripper our See. senior year. Yeah. Yeah. But I always blew it off as false. Fast forward 12 years. I ran into her recently. And we decided to have dinner. Oh. I fell in love with her on that date. In love. That quick. A few months went by. Probably in lust. And I mentioned the rumors. She wasn't upset. And matter-of-factly explained that she did start stripping in high school and continued through college. It bothered me, but the benefits of being with her far outweighed the negatives. I bet. <laughs> now that we are engaged, she told me she had to come clean. Well, you know. She said there were times in college when she had sex with some of her regular clients. Regular clients means the world's oldest profession. Uh, yes. I am floored. Oh, oh, I don't mean getting her on the floor. He's floored. She basically admitted she had prostituted herself. Yeah, well, the money, the money tantalizing, you know. I don't know what to do. I don't want to blame her for her past indiscretions, but this is a big deal. What the hell's he doing falling in love with somebody on the first date? I don't know how to let it go. His dick? Let it go or this situation? Advice, please. <laughs> there is no, no advice. You just got to make a decision. This is, this is the woman's past. This is Dear Abby's. Okay. You now see your fiancé clearly, warts and all. The problem with falling in love, what I define as infatuation, is that you don't yet know who the person is. Regardless of how your fiancé financed her education, she deserves respect for being honest with you. Gotta give her that much. She has done as much as she can to improve your life. You must now ask yourself if you can see past her past 
and if she is someone you would be happy spending the rest of your life with. Remember, I live in Los Angeles, and in this town, her revelation would not necessarily be a deal breaker. <sighs> yeah, people um, in this day and age are desensitized. Yeah, a lot more going on in Los Angeles than stripping. Yeah, and um, you know, a sin is a sin is a sin. You know, I mean, and, and it is part of her past. It is in her past. I mean, um, you know, I mean, and the things that are going on with people now, the scandals of of um, what would be a scandal years ago is 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 nothing now, and. Um, it's almost like um, accepted as, as 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 common. I mean, look at look at at one time women saved themselves from marriage before, <gasps> and they got married as virgins. Now they they would be mocked. Now they would be mocked terribly if um, they claimed that they were a virgin saving themselves. You know, so things of life. Society has changed. I, I, I mean, I mean, there are good, there are good things about a woman would experience, or a man would experience, and there are bad things. I mean, the good thing is, you'll have more fun in bed. Oh. Uh, the bad part is, are they clean? Uh, will they be loyal? You know, uh, um, will they, you know, stick it out for the long term? Stick it out. Stick it out. Oh, where's my shillelagh? Stick, Stick it, it out. out. In. For the long term. Long term. Schlong term. But, um, you know, I, I told somebody, you know, there's a lot of uh, females that are obsessed with getting married. Ooh. You know, the. Uh, Legally, you know, with the marriage certificate, the license, and the, and the actual ceremony, and blah, 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 blah. But you know what? It guarantees nothing. Because uh, to many people, marriage is simply just a damn piece of paper. What counts is if the person stays with you through life's ups and downs. And that's what counts, you know? Uh, um, but that's about, that's enough for today, right? That's enough. I've had enough. Sure, sure. All right, we'll see you, people. Take care. We'll see you next time on Progressive Discussions. <laughs> Front. I, I hardly have to tap it, in, and it's so loud and resonant. Bye-bye. Say so long to these jabronis. Hasta luego. Hasta lumbago. Uh-huh.